The experiments you will see have been carefully done by professionals and should not be tried at home without parental guidance. Please follow the caution signs throughout this program. to Creation is Science, where we learn about our Creator and fun in new ways through science. Are you ready? I'm Aunt Francine and this is Professor Roy. Good to be with you. And let me introduce you to Liam. Hi, good to see you today. Wade. Hi, Wade. Okay. Dia. Hello. Dia. And Elon. Elon. Wow. And it looks like we're doing something with eggs. Right. I see eggs on our table. We got a lot of things to learn about eggs. That's interesting. Right. I like eggs. Right. How many of you like eggs? You like eggs? Okay. Do you eat eggs? Yes. Have you ever thrown eggs? No. 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 Well, let's yeah. learn something about, first of all, what, uh, what happened first, a chicken or an egg? What was created first, do you think? Chicken. A chicken. Probably a chicken. Makes sense to me. What That's day it. do you think that was? Six. I don't know. What day of creation do you know? I think it was the fifth day of creation. Right? Because I think chickens must have been created then. Okay, so let's see what we got. We've got some, we got some eggs in front of you on your table right here. Now here's, uh, here's what we want you to try to figure out at the table. Figure out which egg is uh, raw. Which one, which one? Go ahead guys, check it out. Put them <laughs> in your hands. Figure out which egg is raw. <laughs> Shake it. Figure it out, figure it out. What do you got? Shake this one. Ah! Uh, <laughs> okay, let's come over I here. Okay, have you guys we figured it out? Feel the yolk. What, which egg do you think is raw? This one. I think this, this one, one is cooked. No, this one. That one is raw? Yeah. Okay, tell me which one is cooked. This one. That one is cooked? Yeah, that one is. Okay, okay, hold it up. Hold it up. Okay, all right, that one's cooked? Yes. Are you really sure? Yes. Okay, go ahead and crack it over your head. <laughs> really? Uh-huh. Well, okay, well, if you don't want to, here, crack it right there. Okay, was it, was it cooked? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, that one was cooked. What about you guys, okay? Which one is cooked? These are raw and those are cooked. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, all right, so you want to crack that on your head? Yeah, this one is. Yeah. My Elon? Head? Yeah. Like, not my you head. said that's cooked egg, right? Mm -hmm. So you could ought to be able to crack it on your head without getting all messed up, right? No. Uh, no? So you're really not sure, are you? Is he sure? Oh, I think it's cooked. What do you think? That's good. Okay, let me ask you a question. How did you figure out which one was cooked and which one was raw? By spinning them. Okay, well show us. Yeah. What did you do? Oh, so this one's cooked, so we'll okay, spin so it. Okay, so do it. So she's spinning it. Okay, so which one goes slow? The one that's not cooked. Okay, the one that's not cooked. Did you guys figure that out too? No. Okay, well try it, try it. This one is. Okay, spin one. See if which one spins. No, that one spin. Well, that was really slow. Look at that one there. Man, that thing's going to town. So that one must be what? Um, the wall. Try the oh. other one. Must be cooked, right? If it's cooked, oh, it spins yeah. faster? Yeah, I think so. Hey, we got some other eggs on your table too. Open up those lids. Can you open the lids there? Got little canning jars right here. What we have is we put a raw egg inside of that little canning jar and we put something in that canning jar. Smell it, what did you smell, dude? Vinegar. Vinegar, that's right. We put vinegar in there, and what did vinegar do to the shell? Does that egg in your canning jar have a shell on it? No. Well, take it out, take it out and feel it. That's it, just take it out, pour it out. Pour it out, put it in your hand. Whoa, that's interesting. How does that oh, feel? gross. How does it feel? Gooey. Feels squishy, doesn't it? That's interesting, it's squishy. And so it doesn't have a shell. And uh, what did the vinegar do? It did what? Eroded the shell. Right, it took that shell, it dissolved the shell. That's interesting, isn't it? That's right. It took that and it dissolved the shell. So there is no shell there. Interesting. Well, maybe what we could do, oh, oh, now that's oh. interesting. Wow, and hers <laughs> broke open, didn't it? Now that's interesting. You know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing a what? What is that yellow thing right there? A yolk. That is the yolk of the egg. Interesting. Wow. Now, you know, when a chicken lays an egg, how many days does it take for that egg to hatch? 28. What is it? 28. Uh, a little, little less. Close. You're close. It's about 20, 
Two. One, about 21 days. And you know, Miss Deborah, my assistant, oh. she has raised some chickens, and these are very interesting chickens. And here's one that we're gonna show you right now that is hatching from an egg. Hey, let's watch it. Can we watch it? Watch the video. That's in an incubator that she has at home. Look at that. And what is it doing? Is it eating an eggshell? And, you know, it kind of looked like he's eating an eggshell, isn't it? Yeah. But you know, on the on the beak of the chick, there's a little egg tooth, and that egg tooth is pecking away on that shell, and he and he pecks all the way around, and his neck goes like this, and he's just cutting a, a place for him to escape the egg. Wouldn't you like to get out if he was ready for you to be hatched? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think so too. That's very interesting. Now, eggs are very strong, aren't they? You know, I've got a strong egg over here. Let's see, uh, could you get that for us, Miss uh, or Aunt Francine? Okay. I wonder what kind of egg that is. What kind of an egg do you think this is? Ostrich egg. That's right, this <laughs> happens to be an yeah. ostrich egg and they're very big and they're very strong. You think chicken eggs are strong? Yeah. Yes. yes, they are very, very strong. You know, I've got this container right here. Now, these are raw eggs right here, aren't they? Why don't you pick up a raw egg? Okay, there you go. Then just put it in your hand. I want you to squeeze that and see if you can break it in your hand. Can you squeeze that and break that egg? Can you squeeze it? Yeah. As hard as you can? Here, you, why don't you try it? Squeeze yours. See if you can break that egg. Are you, go, are you trying hard? Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's see. Oh, let's see what we got over here. Hey, why don't you see if they can break an egg over there? You've got a raw egg right there. There you go, and squeeze that. Wow, and they are very strong. Eggs she are was strong. strong. Oh, and she broke it, didn't she? Yeah, she, she broke it. She was determined. Oh, is there another one? Is that one? Well, it would be very, very difficult to break this ostrich egg. It really would. In fact, this ostrich egg, we could put about 13 or over a dozen regular chicken eggs could fit in inside of one ostrich egg. Wow. It would feed a lot of people, wouldn't it? Yeah. It really would. Well, let's see what we got right here. Now, I've got something, and you know, inside of the egg right here, in, in the large side of the egg right here, this is the pointed end, okay? And this is the upper end right here, but there's an air sac in there. And that's what the chicky uses to breathe is that air sac right in there. In fact, this egg right here that you guys, okay, we still have one, and this is the membrane. That's the membrane that's underneath the shell. Remember that shell? It was all what? We put vinegar in that canning jar and it ate up all of that carbon. Uh, what's that made out of? What's the shell made out of? I don't know. What is it made out of? Calcium. Calcium, that's right, calcium. And all that calcium is gone and now we just have that membrane. Notice how squishy it feels? So that's the membrane inside of the egg and every egg has that. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. I think so. Now, what we've got right here, we've got a little experiment that we could do with an, actually not an egg, but we have a bottle right here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this over here to you guys, okay? And here's a balloon. I'm gonna get that balloon a little wet right here. And what I want you to do is I want you to see if you can make that water balloon go down inside of there, but don't break it. Can you push it down in there? Just push it down in. Will it go down in there? Now, how come it's not going down? It's too big. Well, it's too big, that's right. And what's inside of the bottle right here? Air. There's air inside of the bottle. And so it, that air is keeping that balloon from going inside of it. But you know what we can do? We could get rid of some of that air, couldn't we? So let's try to get rid of some of that air. So I'm gonna bring this bottle over here. Let me bring, oh look, and it started to go down. It's very, very hard to do. So what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna have this here. Why don't you hold that for me, Aunt, Aunt uh, Francine. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna light these matches right here, and I'm gonna put those down in there, and that flame is going to use some of the oxygen or some of the air inside of the container. And so we're going to have that would be what? We're gonna have kind of a little bit of a vacuum right here. And it might just go in. Shall we try it? Right. Okay, so let's, let's light this right here. We get all these matches going right here. Get a nice bit of flame going on. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna put that down in there and I'm gonna dump that in there. Put that right on top right there and just, just see what happens. Okay, let's just see what happens. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Did you see that? It went all the way down inside. Now that's interesting. Hey, let's see what, we, what else we can do right here. Here's our chicken egg. This is a cooked egg. And what I'm gonna do, we're gonna do another little experiment, okay? Why don't you get a match out there for me, okay? I'm gonna put a candle, these are little birthday candles. I'm gonna put 
a few birthday candles right on the end, okay, of this chicken egg. All right, let's see what we got right here. All right, we're gonna try to do the same thing. We're gonna light those on fire. Okay, let's get those on fire. There we go. We have a birthday cake. It's not really a birthday cake, is it? We're gonna try to do something. There's air inside of this bottle, right? Mm -hmm. Let's try to get rid of some of that air inside of the bottle. And so we'll put our flame in there. There we go. I'm gonna hold the egg upside down on this bottle right here. And pretty soon that oxygen is gonna be used up by the flaming birthday candles. And whoa, whoa. what happened to the egg? <laughs> the egg went in, didn't it? Because we had a bit of a vacuum inside of here. Now that's pretty neat. Is that pretty neat? Yes. I think that's really neat. So you know what, how can we get rid of this egg? I mean, how can we get, get the egg to come out of the bottle? Could we reverse that? Cold. We could put more air pressure in here than outside and it ought to pop it out. So this is kind of messy and I'm gonna to try to do it. So I'm going to breathe real hard in here. I'm gonna push air from my lungs inside of here and it might pop out. Okay, are we ready? Let's try it, here we go. Three, two, one. Blow, 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 blow. Uh oh. Yay! It did, it popped out and I got egg on my face, didn't I? <laughs> now that's interesting, isn't it? You know, chickens are very interesting animals, aren't they? Yeah. You know, every animal that God made is very, very special. And, and chickens are smart. How many of you know that chickens are smart? Did you know that? No. You know that a chicken can identify 1,000 people. Isn't that interesting? They can identify people. Now that's interesting because you know what? I might have a hard time identifying 1,000 people. And the necks, you know, a chicken has a neck, they have bones in their necks. In fact, a chicken has more bones in their neck than a giraffe. Can you imagine that? Now that is interesting. Well, God created the chicken and the chicken gives us food, right? Because we have eggs. And in fact, a lot of animals have eggs. Don't they have eggs? They do. Can you think of some other animals that have eggs? Ostrich. What is it? Ostrich. Ostrich. What else? Uh, penguins. A which? Penguin. A penguin has eggs. Turtles. Bird. Turtles have eggs. Bird. What is it? A bird. A bird. Birds have eggs. That's interesting, isn't it? All kinds of animals have eggs. In fact, a lot of animals have that little what? Egg, egg. tooth, don't they? Mm -hmm. A lot of them do, don't a they? Lot Not of only them a do. chick. Not only a chick. I'm thinking of a Bible text, Genesis 1-1. Will you get that Bible for us, Dia? You know, it's interesting that the eggs are really interesting because we see oxygen. They need oxygen and that's why they're trying to get out and constantly trying to get out of that eggshell. And then they are looking for that sack and they need more. And that's why they're trying to get out of the eggshell because they want to breathe more. And we need the breath of life. Who's the provider of all the breath of life? God. 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 Let's read it. Genesis 1.1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God created the heavens and the earth. Did he create you? Yes. yes. Does he want you to become more like him? Yes. 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 He does. He wants us to constantly grow in him. And just like the little chick is thriving for that oxygen, right? He's always wanting to breathe more. And so he tries to break away and he breaks away at that shell. We need to break away from the barriers and seek God. How do we do that? How do we seek God? By reading Prayer. the Bible. By reading the Bible. What else can we do? Prayer. Prayer. How about when we talk with each other and encourage one another? Are we being more like God? Yes. Right. So we can constantly take in a new life, right? Because God is living in us and we have His oxygen or the life giver wants to give us more life and living it abundantly. I hope you want to live for God. Uh, thank you for joining us on Creation is Science!